In today's video, I get very hot and talk about selling on eBay. Cue the intro. Hi folks, welcome to the channel. For those of you new here, my name's Andrew. I'm a part-time eBay and Amazon reseller, which means I buy stuff and sell it on eBay and Amazon for a profit, 99% of the time. I've also recently been nominated for an eBay Community Award at the eBay for Business Awards. So if you've not voted in those yet, I would really be grateful if you could vote for the Monumental Emporium because there's some tough competition I'm up against. Uh, you can go to ebayawards.com to put your vote in and there'll be a link in the description to the video as well. Uh, to the, there'll be a link in the description of this video to vote as well. There we go. Oh, not editing today. Anyway, so in today's video, I thought I would go through my sales report for June. It is actually the 30th of July, so I've been really bad at doing this, but I've had a very, very busy month, and I've been celebrating my 40th um, for the last few days. So, a bit delayed in doing things, but as it's the last day of the month of July, there's still just about enough time for me to look at the previous month's performance. So we're going to switch to future Andrew, who will bring up the sales report to study. In today's video, I get very hot and talk about selling on eBay. Cue the intro. Okay, thank you, previous Andrew, future Andrew here, to look at the uh, sales report from the past. That's probably a bit confusing. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, month of June. Um, didn't listen as much as I would like in June. I've listened even less in July, actually, but that's a separate video. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see if the business growth has continued because the last few months it has grown month for month which in terms of turnover which has been really good to see uh, it's just put more money in my back pocket basically but anyway let's have a look so it looks like we actually did uh, once again show some really good growth uh, sales went up 15.8 percent uh, in terms of revenue versus the previous month uh, and sales net of costs increased by four <laughs> And the dogs went ballistic. Increased by 14.1%. So good to see some increases there. Um, let's see if there's any insights uh, that we can glean though by looking at this. So it looks like um, I had a 12% increase in sales. I sold 355 more items than I did the previous year, which is good again. Average sales price actually went up, even though it's not something I'm actively targeting at the minute. Uh, it's still good to see that went up 2.7%. Sales on auction went down. No, that's fine. Uh, I haven't listed anything new on auction. I'm just relisting stuff that's previously been an auction and slowly trickling through it. Uh, so it's still good to see some of that go out. And fixed price sales by it now went up 16%, which is really good. I had 329 buyers and only four repeat buyers again. That's disappointing because this month I did start sending out coded coupons for larger discounts to repeat buyers. Uh, and that seemed to fail entirely. Um, I'm probably going to look at putting some kind of thank you cards with a discount in um, sort of orders and see how that works but I'm not going to do that until after I've moved house uh, which uh, could be September, could be October, could be later depends how long the conveyancing process takes and hopefully touch wood nothing will fall through because one of the things I'm looking to do is relocate my business to the North Wales coast um, which is why I'm actually not listing as much as I would like uh, because lots of other things going on uh, top categories, books, back to being top category. However, it did see a 25% discount, de decrease, sorry, in sales uh, in the common category of books. But if we look at antiquarian and collectible category, that saw a big increase. So overall, books is doing well. And it's been bringing in some good money. And that kind of makes sense because when people are going away on holiday, uh, quite often they do go and buy books. Um, to read while I sat by the sun lounger etc so I was expecting to see an increase and overall I'm seeing one which is good uh, we also saw the decrease in health and beauty on the vitamins and minerals category I was expecting that because the uh, vitamins that were doing so well for me the previous month uh, basically practically sold out this month and I haven't been able to restock them so I'm not too worried about that decreasing Sales of curtains has increased, which is good because I don't think I actually listed any new curtains uh, that month. Just obviously people decided they wanted to do stuff to their house. And 
oddly enough, VHS tapes has massively increased by 55%. Uh, and I didn't really list that many VHS that month. Um, so past couple of months I've been saying that maybe I'll step away from VHS. Uh, I had been one of the biggest category sellers of VHS for a while on eBay. Not the biggest, but one of the top five. But looking at this increase, maybe it's not quite time to step away from uh, VHS yet. And certainly I do have several hundred more that uh, I need to get listed at some point this year anyway. So till those stocks dwindle, it'll still be something that I'll be selling. But yeah, really good to see. So total sales massively increasing. Ignore the postage costs that are on here because I buy most of my postage outside of eBay. Uh, this is just raw mail postage costs that are in there. Um, so it looks like basically a third of my money went on fees to eBay not including postage by and large a little bit of postage um but yeah that's, that's about what i would expect and so yeah it's not really telling me anything massive um normally each month there are quite a few insights i can gain from this but basically this is telling me that i'm just going in the right direction and actually maybe some of the categories that i thought i should step away from perhaps i shouldn't uh let's just see if there's anything more and view more yeah so an increase on health and beauty in the medicated hair treatments uh which makes sense because that's something i listed new product i listed that month and it did well video games gone up by a third i struggled to source video games to be honest clothing uh i sold a bag uh for 140 quid that's why it's gone that's why it's 140 quid sale there uh that was a nice individual sale on a bag and sunglasses uh which is a completely new category to me never sold sunglasses before i don't think in six years of reselling uh that bought 130 quid because i got a load of sunglasses um as ra um and they sold well uh, moisturizer has also been doing well collectibles uh again this is just due to some of the stock that i had in i bought a job lot of model railway cardboard building kits and so i've sold a load of those uh, DVD sales slightly down by 4%. I haven't listed many DVDs. Health and Beauty showing good increase. Clothes in sale, clothing and shoes and accessories in waistcoats and jackets gone down. Kind of expect that category to go down because we're getting towards warmer weather. Vehicle parts has seen a um, increase, but actually that's motorbike jackets that I got from Fleek, which is on a previous video uh, a while back that have sold. And then there's some more curtains that have sold and some more health and beauty stuff. It's definitely showing me that my uh, focus on health and beauty is bringing in money, but it's also showing me that I should keep focusing on books because they still bring in money. And actually VHS is still doing well for me, uh, which is the one big surprise of this report. So we will switch to future feature Andrew to do the, rea the, the wrap up of the video. Okay, so. Thank you, future Andrew, future, future Andrew here now. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit odd actually me doing this analysis in June. It wasn't planned. It should have been done a lot sooner. So I can't really use the insights from it to uh, inform my sourcing or listing strategy in July uh, because July is now on its... Well, actually, it's last day of July is tomorrow. But, yeah, it's not really going to change anything for tomorrow. Normally when I analyse those reports, I'm looking to see what categories I should be focusing on in terms of sourcing and listing the following month. But now I will be using it to see what I can focus and list in August. And I will also try and do the July report in the next few days as well, just to help see if those conclusions that I've reached are correct. But basically the conclusions I've got so far are continue focusing on health and beauty. Clothing isn't really doing anything for me at the minute. So quite happy just to not focus on that have lost my love for clothing i must admit books is definitely something i still need to keep focusing on the slight decrease in dvds there i think is down to just listing less dvds in june um so i'm not going to make any changes to my sourcing or listing around that i'll still continue to pick up uh, dvds if there's money in them um although i sell a lot more dvds on amazon these days but that's a separate thing one change I have made, uh, which I'll talk about here now, is I have just this morning uh, signed up for the Reseller Greatness uh, sort of Facebook group that's run by Tekken Sports, who you may have heard of, has been from one half of the Daily Refinement 
sort of empire, I guess is the word. Probably not the word actually, but anyway. Yeah, signed up to that today. Uh, it was something I was planning to do after I moved uh, because I really want to work on my business processes and grow the business further. I kind of feel I've taken it as far as I can personally with my own knowledge and experience and it's time to learn from other people's knowledge and experience to push it because I want to at least double that turnover at the minute. I want to be getting at least 10k a month whilst part-time. So I'm going to give the Tech and Sports Group a try for a few months so I can learn from that. I'm not just going to join it for a month or two and then sort of bug out. I am going to give it at least six months so I can properly see what kind of impact it has been on there. I still want to get approved to join the Facebook group, but once I'm in there, uh, really looking forward to uh, get involved and see what more I can learn. So that'll be interesting to see what happens. I don't think we'll see any sort of real differences to the business in August. As all that, but maybe September, October time, we'll start to see some uh, real increases. Uh, all depends what happens when my house move. Um, I decided to do it before my house move rather than after because I, I thought to myself this morning that the, the sort of the processes and improvements that I learn from the group, it would be good if I sort of learn those now so I'm ready to implement them when I move rather than learning them after I've moved and I've got to redo and reorganize everything in my new house around it. Better to learn it now, and then I can get a new house set up so that I'm ready to go and get stuck in straight away. So that's the plan. Anyway, if you've made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do like to see a random comment uh, to show people have made it this far because it just encourages me to make more content. So comment Marigold down below if you've made it this far. And don't forget to vote in those eBay for Business Awards for the Money Mental Emporium link down below, and it's eBay uh ebaybusinessawards.com i've already forgotten but anyway the link will be down below in the description thank you so much bye for now and it's not a touchscreen andrew